Masalheri na hewala kwa daima kwenza na kuchagua KUTV mizizi ya habari na ito Kelo Kevin na yufasi wetu ni Janet Nyaboke. Na umba ustakiri ni somi ya video kezo halafu tuzamia tulio kuandalia. Kisumi ya onodesho ya kwanza mombasa pili huku Nairobi kishikili ya mkia katika ripoti ya utenda kazi. Pesa za inuwe suenda wapi, karioke Liliana Richard kuhujiwa, baada ya shilingi bilion tisa kupotea. Meguna meguna kureje ya nchini hapo kesho. Na michezoni, kocha mpio harambe stars, anza mazoezi ya kuanda, mazoezi ya kuanza kuno wa makali ya chezaji kabla ya mechi za krafi. Na mshukran sana kwa kujumui kanasi kwenye mzizi ya habari. Tunanza na habari kuwa county ya Nairobi. Imiorodesho ya mwisho katika ripoti ya utenda kazi wa county. Iliozinduliwa mapema leo na shirika latifa. Ripoti hiyo imeangazia county tatu Nairobi, Mombasa na Kisumu. County ya Kisumu iliorodesho ya kwanza kwa asilimia hamsina sita ambayo ni alama ya chachanya. Mombasa ilikuwa ya pili kwa alama uh, uh, msini na tatu ambayo ni alama ya cha katika utenda kazi huku Nairobi ikivuta mkia kwa asilimia arbaina nne ambayo ni daa chanya. Miongo, mungo, miongo ni mamamba iliwangaziwa katika kutuza alama ni pamoja na usafi wa miji, hubora wa makazi, huduma ya afya na biashara. Ripoti ya utenda kazi katika baadhi ya kaunti imetolea hii leo huku gavana Nairobi Mike Mbovisonko akiburura mkia miongoni mwa kaunti tatu kuu nchini. Ripoti hiyo ilimweka gavana wa Kisumu katika mstari wa mbele kutenda kazi licha huu kwa muolake wa kwanza. Miongoni mwa mambo yaliyo muweka Profesa Anyang Nyongo mbele ni pamoja na kuimarisha biashara katika kaunti ya Kisumu, kuimarisha viwango vya afya pamoja na matibabu bila kusahau usambazaji wa maji safi huku swala la kukosa mikakati mwafaka ya kudhibiti maji taka likimweka nyuma. Kaunti ya Nairobi kwa upande mwingine ilivuta mkia kwa kutodumisha usafi wa jiji, barabara mbaya, takataka kutupwa kila sehemu pamoja na sera za kufanya biashara. Huku kuwekwa kwa taa mijini katika kaunti ya Nairobi kukiinua utendakazi wa Mike Sonko japo kwa asilimia ndogo. Gavana Ali Hassan Joho Mombasa akiwekwa katika nafasi ya pili, ripoti hiyo ikionyesha kuwa Joho amelemewa na usambazaji wa maji safi, ongezeko la taka mijini mazingira chafu pamoja na ugumu wa wananchi kupata huduma za serikali za kaunti. Utafiti huo wa shirika la Trends and Insights for Africa Tifa uligusia kaunti tatu tu ambazo pia zina baadhi ya majiji makuu ya Kenya. Kelvin Ogome, KUTV. Waziri msaidizi wa Wizara ya Huduma ya Umma Lilian Mbogo, Mkurugenzi Mkuu wa Shirika Kuradi Mtazamaji Kidogo Mitambo ina shida. Waziri msaidizi wa Wizara ya Huduma kwa Umma Lilian Mbogo Mkurugenzi Mkuu wa Shirika la Huduma ya Vijana kwa Taifa Richard Dubai na Waziri wa Afya Aziz Karuki wanatarajiwa mbele ya kamati ya fedha ya huduma kamati ya fedha kuhusiana na shilingi bilion tisa zilizopotea katika shirika hili. mara nyingine vuta ni kuvuta nitarajiwa baina ya serikali na wakili mwanaharakati miguna miguna ambaye anatarajiwa nchini hapo kesho serikali tayari imesema miguna miguna atakubaliwa tu kuingia nchini iwapo watatumia pasipoti yake ya Canada huku wakili ndungwa ina ina akishikilia kuwa ujio wa miguna unaambatana na agizo la mahakama ni takriban miezi mitatu tangu wakili mzushi Miguna Miguna alipofurushwa kutoka nchini baada yake kusimamia hafla ya wapisho wa kinara wa upinzani Raila Odinga na japo mahakama iliagiza Miguna kurejeshwa nchini tarehe 28 mwezi Machi jaribio hilo liligonga mwamba pale alipofurushwa tena hadi nchini Dubai kabla ya kuelekea Canada 
lakini sasa wakili huyo ameamua kurudi nchini mara hii bila agizo la mahakama huku kila mmoja akisubiri kwa hamu na gamu kuona iwapo miguna ataruhusiwa nchini Miguna is a Kenyan and Miguna has the right as myself to live in his own country If this country cannot explain how Miguna got his identification card that he used to campaign with us for the position of a, of a governor then they should not even try to pull him out of this country they should bring him back as soon as it should Miguna is not asking for any favor and I want to address myself to Kihalangwa and any other public servant you are serving in public service you are not serving in your private capacity Mchanganuzi wa kisiasa ndungu wa inaina anasema Miguna ni mkenya kwa kuzaliwa na hakufaa kufurushwa nchini hivyo basi ana haki kikatiba kurejea nchini wakati wote atakapo The constitution guarantees Miguna his birthright that's number one. number two, the court affirmed Miguna's rights right and therefore whether Miguna has a Canadian citizenship or not Miguna is a Kenyan citizen right and his rights are protected by birth and by the constitution that is that the court did not in any way find Miguna in violation of any constitutional provision that is why it gave very specific orders that Miguna must be produced before the court Ijapokuwa serikali kwa upande wake imesisitiza kuwa sharti Miguna aingie nchini akitumia pasipoti yake ya Canada. Ndungu wanadokeza kurejea kwa Miguna nchini kunaambatana na agizo la mahakama kuwa rejeshwe nchini. As long as the court decisions have not been vacated, the position remains that the court orders and court directive must be upheld. If the court would have found Miguna not to be following constitution and the rights enshrined in the constitution, the court would have said so. What we are having are people who are obsessed with a violation of the constitution amnesia from the word go. They have been like that. They are not changing. They have not changed their position. Wakili Ndungu anasema mahakama haikumpata Miguna na kosa la kukiuka katiba. Hivyo iwapo hataruhusiwa kuingia nchini anaweza kuishtaki serikali. Ujio wa jenerali aliyejitangaza wa NRM Miguna Miguna uenda ukaibua mvutano uliokuwepo kati yake na serikali. Lakini je, ni nani kati ya makundi haya mawili atalegeza msimamo wake? Muda ndio utakaotoa jawabu. Victor Nabiswa, KUTV Nairobi. Jaji Lydia Shodia mapishwa rasmi kuwa hakimu mkuu wa mahakama kuu. Hafla hiyo imeongozwa na jaji mkuu David Maraga katika mahakama za milimani hapa Nairobi. Jaji Shodia alichaguliwa na majaji wa mahakama hiyo na motaraisha na tatu mwezi Aprili mwaka huu katika uchaguzi ulioendeshwa na tume ya uchaguzi IBC. Achoda atachukua nafasi ya jaji Richard Mwongo ambaye muda wake tayari umekamilika. Tukisonga mbele ni kuwa mbunge wa Bobasi Nosendo Obiri na mlinzi wake Charles Nyakwera wameshakiwa katika mahakama ya Ogembo kwa mashtaka mawili tofauti. Katika mashtaka ya kwanza Obiri ameshtakiwa kwa kutoa matamshi uchochezi na katika kosa la pili watu wawili wameshtakiwa kwa kufunga njia kuingia katika timbo na tarehe sita mwezi huu mwaka huu. Wale hao wamekanusha mashtaka na kuachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi elfu mia elfu mia moja kwa kosa la kwanza na shilingi elfu hamsini kwa kosa la pili katika mashtaka hayo. Kesi hiyo itarajelewa tarehe ishina moja mwezi huu mwaka huu. I was held on a very small matter which I could have paid cash bill but it was not given. But I must thank the police. They handled me in a very civil way all the way until today. I have faith in the judiciary the truth will be known. My conscience is clear and I am, uh, the truth will come out and the people of Kenya will know. I want to say this is being brought by the lords of impunity, those who think that they can tremble on people because they are powerful. Mama wa taifa Bibi Margaret Kenyatta amehimiza umuhimu wa mshikamano katika familia zetu ili tuwe na mshikamano wa kitaifa. Mama wa taifa ameyasema hayo katika hafla ya kongamano la kimataifa kuhusu umuhimu wa familia. Taarifa hiyo inashughulikiwa na itakuja kwa kina mwendo wa saa mbili katika lugha ya Kiingereza.